Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with a brand new squad builder video. This is where we play five games and see how it does. But we have got Jose Reyna in goal, who wasn't bad. You could probably get better, but he was not a bad goalkeeper at all. Very overlooked. Wouldn't be afraid to use him in a hybrid or something. Well, we got Piscat. First time I used Reyna and Piscat. Piscat was very good. Best right back in the Bundesliga. He's definitely best than Kroos Gross. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, not bad. But we've got Socrates and Vanatia. Two good centre-backs. Socrates could maybe be a little bit solid. But overall, they're good. Schmelzer, he wasn't that good, to be honest. Like, he didn't have any pace. His defending wasn't great. Overall, not a good player. But we've got Gundogan. Very good going up and down the field. Very, very good on the ball. I really enjoyed using him. And then we have got Gustavo. Wasn't as good defensively this time, but he's a very, very solid player. Would advise using him. But now we've got De Bruyne, who scored five goals in five games. Very good. However, two were penalties. One was a bit lucky. But overall, yeah, he's a very good player. Would advise using him. But we got Sidney Sam. First two games, he didn't do much. But in the last three, he was stunning. He ran up down that wing and did exceptionally well. Again, another overlooked player. Very, very good. <clears throat> we have got Adrian Ramos in the striker position. Used some many squad builders. You guys know I think he's good. We move on. And we have got Sun, who, again, last squad builder I did with him in, wasn't very good. Nothing's changed. The goal he scored was a header. I don't think he's that good. I don't know why. I guess he lacks something, in my opinion. I know other YouTubers like him, but I personally don't. But now that you've seen the team, we will go into the goals and the review part at the end. Now that you have seen the goals, we are into the main review part of the video. This team cost 19k, had a record of 4 wins and only 1 defeat, so it did pretty well in the cup, um, played in foot, foot United and managed to win in the final. It scored 15 goals, so it scored a decent amount of goals. I've scored more and I've scored less. It conceded 8, so the defence wasn't bad, could be a little bit better, maybe Schmutzer. Best player, I could say lots of people were the best player, I could have said De Bruyne. Who was very good, by the way. I could have said, even though he scored two penalties, keep that in mind. 
I could have said Ramos, could have said Bonatia. However, I said Sydney Sam, not because he was the best player, which I know defeats the point of best player, but he was stunning in the last three games. He was so good. He ran at defenders so well, scored some really nice goals, actually, and just gave teams lots of trouble. He's a very, very underrated player, which is why I chose him. Worst player was Sun or Schmelzer. Like, Sun I've never rated um, when I've used him in FIFA. And Schmelzer, he's probably the best left-sided player, um, unless you have 100k to buy Alaba. But honestly, yeah, one of those two are the worst players. I don't like them, wouldn't advise them. So, yeah. But top assist man was De Bruyne, very good in that cam spot. And the top goal scorer was, was Ramos and De Bruyne. Two good players, and I said his name differently, I know. But we made one guy rage quit, so bye, have a great time on his part. And I rate this team in the 84 out of 100, because based on how the team was, it did pretty well. Maybe I would rate it lower, but overall it was a good team, so if you haven't enjoyed the video, make sure you smack the like button, subscribe, comment below, and do subscribe if you want to see more. It's me, Woody Mark, I'm out of here. See you guys!